Alright, welcome back everybody. We are going to get into it. Now this is where we are going to start to transition definitely into building mode. So we're actually going to go through and start building out our monkey character. So this is what I definitely want you to do. We do have a two screen approach that I'm going to be definitely pushing from here on out. And all that really is is on your computer. That is where you should have Illustrator. So you can just focus on that and then the tutorials, YouTube, however you are watching it, that should be on a separate device. Your phone will work just fine, so I am gonna be pushing a two device approach, and all that is gonna do is if you're doing both on the computer, you're gonna to have to bounce and toggle back and forth. So I definitely wanna do that, and then I also want to encourage everyone to make sure you are actively participating. So get in the Illustrator, work on it. We wanna work through all the bugs, so that is why we are doing this in a step-by-step -step format and then we do it in a little bit of a slower process. So we are gonna start building and we are all about building with shapes. So while we are doing this, we might as well bring in our colors so we don't have to switch it later. So I am gonna come over to the right hand side. I am looking for the little grid. We are looking for swatches. Just click on that and now on the bottom left hand corner, you are gonna see swatch libraries menu. Just click on that. And it's gonna give you all sorts of different things that are already done, so that's actually kind of a fun thing to be playing around with, but what we are looking for is other library. So we're gonna get a nice little pop-up, and then all we really have to do is go back and find where we downloaded our stuff, and you are gonna notice that this is the, my version of it, but I have already separated all of the color libraries. So you'll see these ASE files. That is what we are looking for. I am looking for my monkey face expressions and then all I have to do is click it. It is going to pop right on up and then this is how easy this is. I just want you to pay attention to what's happening on the right hand side in our swatches. All I want to do is click on that little folder and once I do that it populates our swatches. So I want it over here in our swatches then I can get rid of it. So why I want it is if I come back over, that's where it's pulling from. So if it's not in our swatches, most of the areas that you're familiar with aren't going to be populated with the colors that we're going to be using. So that'll make your life very, very easy. Now I am going to be building, let's do this, I want to be building with just the stroke. So I'm finding where the fill is. If this is in front, then I want to click on none. So I don't want to click none on our stroke. So while the stroke is selected, just come up to the top. Again, let's just practice. We are going to be doing our somewhat dark brown for that one. And then we're pretty much ready to go. So I want to do this. Just double check that on your layers panel that you have the back of the head selected. So we are not going to be drawing on the template layer. If you are on the template layer, it's going to yell at you and then it's also gonna unlock it. So we wanna make sure that we don't do that. So this is what we're gonna do, let's zoom in. Now zooming is your Z. It is that nice little magnifying glass on that left hand side, and that is gonna be a shortcut, and we'll go through quite a few of the little shortcuts that you're gonna to wanna to do, especially in just terms of zooming. So like control plus minus will be your zoom in, zoom out. Control zero will zoom out to fit in your artboard. So every time we do that, I will say, hey, this is what we're gonna click, and then you can practice each time. So let's do this. All we are gonna do is let's focus on these three circles on the back of the head, and then we're gonna start working our way forward. So the first one, let's just click on our ellipse tool. First option is the click and drag method. So notice if I have my top and the side, I wanna start somewhere out here. It's not really gonna be exact on this one. I'm going to hold down shift and pretty much all of our circles are perfect circles. So I want to maintain that proportion. And then I'm just going to drag and I'm aiming for the far corner. Boop. And then I'll just let go and that looks pretty good. So that's option number one. Let's do a second little option. Since I already did this one and I need another one, second option is just clicking. So I have my ellipse tool and if I click I'm gonna get a nice little pop-up and now what's super nice is this is already in the exact format that we just built so I'm gonna say okay it is just gonna slap it down that's probably the only thing I don't like about it and so we can just use our arrow keys let's just keep it easy and then we'll 
move it right back up. I am going to go through our selection tools at a second here, and then we have another whole video about aligning. So we just want to get everything just down right now, and then we'll kind of keep moving forward with everything. All right, so the next little one I'm going to be looking for is we've already done shift. Now I want you to hold down your alt option. So in the middle, right there, you might be able to see it. It's a nice little tiny green dot right by the nose. I'm going to hold down shift. Just watch my cursor change. As soon as I hit down that alt option, there's my little circle. I'm going to drag out. And now you're going to notice that it is scaling in proportions. And it is just scaling in from the middle. So I personally like that. You might be able to see that in our anchor point guides, you're going to actually be able to find and locate the center of all the circles. So all you have to do is hover your mouse around it, hold down shift alt, and then pull right on out. So we are pretty much done with this one. I think we are going to save the hair when we move on to our stroke tutorial. So this one is all done. Let's just go control A. So we're going to, and then I want to color them all brown and then I do not want strokes anymore. So now we can just practice going back and forth. That looks good. So I'm going to lock that out and then I'm going to hide it. So that's ready to go. And I am going to be doing everything on its own layer. So I'm just going to call this one face shapes. We want to get pretty good at just getting stuff down, working on our layers. Click on OK. Again, I'm just going to hide it every time. Every time you open up your layers, it is in good, just kind of a practice on do I see it? I notice that it is highlighted, and then I personally just hide it. So let's do our circles. Now that we have three of them down, you can kind of start practicing. So I see that little green. I'm just going to pull out until it gets pretty close. That looks good to me. Let's just come up to the top. That is going to be a face color. Now, right now, as I am building, I am going to just go Shift X, and Shift X is this little tiny toggle, and it's going to flip our stroke and our fill. So I don't want to be building with a fill on. You're going to pretty much tell that you are just going to get rid of the anchor point guide, so it's just a little bit harder to see. All right, let's do it again. I, I already know I want a duplicate, so I am going to click on OK. So I'm on my black arrow. And now I can come over and then I can move it. And again, I'm just getting close. We are going to be aligning everything. Now, black arrow is going to do all of the heavy lifting for us. We're not really going to be able to rotate a circle, but I can move it. Now, things to be aware of is notice that my icon changes as soon as I go over that path. That's going to be the signal that, hey, I can move it. If I miss, I'm going to get that little selection, and it's just going to think I'm trying to highlight and select things. So just be aware of that. Now I will point out, if I just toggle back to our fill, notice that the cursor, see how I can still move it from the middle? So when I was learning, I built everything with a fill or I had the default. And so I always thought I could grab in the middle because there was a default white. And then as soon as I clicked it off, I kept on doing this nonstop. So just be aware that I have done that too. You want to be grabbing the path. All right, nice little oval. Let's grab and just drag. Whenever you see a drag, the major thing that you're just looking to avoid is just clicking, and that's really it. So if I click, then I'm gonna get that little pop-up. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna click Control-0. You can also come up to the top. You will notice that Control-A, Command-A, if you were on a Mac, that is just select all. And then let's just toggle that back. That looks good. While we are here, let's do the ear. That's going to be another one. We're just dragging from the corner. Whenever you see ovals, I am not holding down shift. I am not doing anything with my left hand. I am just clicking that little toggle, shift X. And then let's color that one our pink. All right, that looks good. Now, with your magnifying glass, let's just zoom on in. Let's just do a little bit of practice. So as we are building, we are also going to be practicing our selection tools. So what I want to do is notice that there's this little curve. I want to actually add on two anchor points. So I'm going to just click on the plus. That is the add anchor point. And then I am just going to hover over it. You can kind of see it. Just come close. So I'm just adding two. I didn't mess up my shape. I just added two points. Now what I'm going to do is click over on this white arrow. 
I want to just deselect off of it right now. I want to select it with the white. And what that's really doing, especially as you guys are starting off, I almost want you to give a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge to Illustrator saying, hey, I'm about to do white arrow. So whenever you toggle, there is a good tendency that if you just come over, that it still thinks you're trying to use the black arrow and the whole thing is gonna move. So it, it takes a little bit of an extra time to deselect, come back, select with the white, and then select the anchor point guide, but you'll stop avoiding the constant moving objects back and forth. So that's how I know that one too. So I'll let's zoom all the way out, control zero. I am again gonna click on shift X. Shift X is our little toggle. And whenever I do these little short keys, again, let's just recap, you have more working knowledge of your keyboard than the location of all of these dif different things, especially things that are hiding. So I would rather you just look down, go Shift X, learn your keyboard shortcut, rather than, hey, I have to sit there and hold and click and then figure out where things are. So just, there is a method behind the madness here. All right, I wanna just duplicate this one out. So I'm gonna do the easiest version let's just go edit copy I am just gonna go edit paste I have my black arrow select I notice and I'm just gonna move that right on over let's just do a nice little new little thing I'm gonna right click and this little pop-up I use quite frequently for a whole lot of things and the major one is our transform and then I am going to reflect it so again I'm on my vertical axis and then just click on OK. So again, that was just right clicking and then you'll get a nice little pop-up. So we do this with transform. A lot of times I will use this with a range and then this is usually the way I group things, especially in tutorials for grouping rather than control G. All right, let's just show you where we're at. We already have our monkey. He's coming, he's coming. All right, so for this tutorial, what we are gonna do is we are gonna finish the eyeballs and then the nose and then when we move on to combining objects, then we are gonna do the eyebrows and then the mouth. So we are not gonna do all of them today. We are just gonna do most of the heavy lifting. So it looks like something. I know you guys like that. So let's just zoom on in. Again, Z is your zoom. You can also go control plus minus. And let's do these little circles. So let's come on over, grab your ellipse. I am again looking for the blue. Whenever we, and especially with the anchor points, you might have been able to tell that they are color coded. So since this circle is blue, I am looking for a blue little dot right by that eyeball. I'm gonna hold down shift and alt, and I'm just gonna drag that one out. This is my way of choice almost every single time, just so you're aware, going from the middle. We're gonna go dark, and again, I'm just gonna go shift X so I can see everything. I still have my ellipse selected, by the way. And I'm just drawing those two out. Let's just zoom in so you can see what we're doing. So I'm gonna have those both selected. Now we can actually just start filling because that is just fine. So I'm gonna color this one first. Let's just color them whites. And then I can just come back down. Let's just swap. Again, Shift X, a little toggle. That looks good. So since I know I'm gonna duplicate it, I'm gonna hold down my shift. Notice I'm on my black arrow. And then I'm gonna right click and then I wanna group. So now I've got all my little eyeballs done. Control zero is your zoom all the way out to fit everything on the screen. Let's go edit copy. Edit, let's just paste anywhere. So right now we are just gonna go paste and it's just gonna slap it down. So usually this is my not version of choice, but since we are going to be aligning in the next video, I want us to give us something to align to. So if everything is perfect, it is a very non-dramatic video. All right, let's do this last little one. Again, let's do a little click and drag. Remember to hold down your mouse. And again, I'm aiming for that far corner. I'm just gonna slap it down and now I can scale. So with that black arrow, I can always scale. I can reposition things. All right, that looks good. So let's do this. I am gonna click our little toggle. Now I'm gonna switch over to the white arrow. 
Now this is gonna be a good little transition. I'm gonna start saying black arrow, white arrow, and then I'm gonna give you the short key A or V. So white is A. So there's only four that we're really gonna be doing kind of through this series is our hand tool, our magnifying glass, and then our selection tool. So while we are going through this beginner's guide, I am gonna do you the biggest favor of all time and try and teach you those two to make your life so, so easy. So you do not wanna to be toggling back and forth each time you switch from one to the other. I started with Photoshop and it was a big giant pain to not do shortcuts. So I am going to push that pretty hard for you. All right, so what we wanna do is just have this a little bit pointed. So notice that the handles are out. So again, I just selected and it's gonna highlight. Notice that this is blue, all the other ones are white. So I can tell that that anchor is selected. Now up at the top, you're gonna to notice it says convert. This is our control panel again. And I can just click on this little convert selected anchor points to corner, and then it's gonna sharpen out for us. Again, control zero, let's just zoom all the way out. Let's bring everything back because we are done with this tutorial. Three things that I just want you to practice when we are building with shapes, and again, it works with any of our shapes, is the click and drag method from the corners. Most of the time you'll be holding down shift, but that will work out just well. If I just click, I'm gonna get that little pop-up, and that is great if you've already built a shape and it's just gonna duplicate it. And the third one is holding shift and alt from that center point and then dragging out. So that is gonna be my preferred method. So you'll see that quite frequently, especially in the tutorial. So what we're gonna do in the next tutorial is aligning all of these shapes. So we just kind of slapped them down, moved them pretty close, and now we wanna make sure that everything is nice and perfect. So we are gonna be aligning and using the align panel.